We gather here this afternoon in expectation, in friendship, and in love to witness and celebrate the wedding of Julie and Gary. Uh, but Julie's not a child anymore. She's all grown up. She's brought in a young man today officially that uh, uh, we've known for several years. Uh, we first met Gary uh, at the Laurel Mill Playhouse uh, where he was performing and we marveled at his acting skills and then we found out he could play multiple instruments as well as uh, had a great singing. I begin. He's kind, he's witty, capable, intelligent, talented, creative, he's quite pretty, <laughs> and he likes beer. You are my older brother, and you're my only brother. You helped raise me, and have acted as a source of guidance and inspiration to me during many times of my life. I love you. I love Julie. And everyone in this room loves you both as well. I would like to end with an excerpt from a Scottish poem called A Red Red Rose. Julie, where do I begin? She's kind. She's witty, she's capable, she's intelligent, talented, creative, she's quite pretty, and she likes beer. Julie, you, sometimes you don't know that you're missing a puzzle piece until you get to the end of the creation of a family, and she is definitely one of our quarter pieces. She uh, was the band member in my dad's dream bluegrass band. <laughs> the rest of us really never took hold to that. We just weren't into it. We love music, but we're not good at chords. <laughs> There seems to be a great comfort between them. Love, of course, but an ease of company. You know, as Drew was going over the uh, uh, wedding ceremony, well, I'm getting a little old, and my mind kind of drifted a little bit back to uh, about 25 years ago. You see, Julie was celebrating her first birthday. You are the blood of my bud and bone of my bone. I give you my spirit till our life shall be done. Follow me. 
Gary and Julie, I wish you all the love, the joy, and the happiness that a marriage can bring. And I also wish you just enough challenges as you slide down the banister of life together. May all the splinters be in the wrong direction. Everyone, let's toast Gary and Julie, your eyes. in the subject that prompted them to talk. But over time, the amount of similarities grew and their fate was sealed. Gary asked her out for a drink and slowly but surely, after some pushing, Julie finally figured out how to pronounce our last name. 